Hi, I'm Joe Yost here with Media Design Imaging. I'm going to be talking about the Came TV 7500 and the differences with the new Came TV 7800. Um, first off, these two are gimbals used for um, camera movement, and there are a couple differences I'm going to point out right now. One of the main differences is that this little monitor clip did not come with this. You have to buy this aftermarket, and there are a lot of exposed wires on the top including one that goes directly to your battery, so you have to be careful with that because you might pinch them. Another difference between the 7800 and the 7500 is this does not come with a quick release plate, but it does come with a screw that goes into the bottom of most DSLRs to attach it to the uh, 7500, which will then allow you to balance it. Now on to the 7800. It seems they've eliminated a lot of wire clutter, uh, one of which being the most important, the battery, which is actually mounted into the frame and they also included a monitor hookup on the uh, opposite side. Another uh, thing they've changed for the 7800 is these handles can be unscrewed and then taken off very easily for storage. And you just place it back on there and twist the bottom to tighten it. Another difference between the 7500 and the 7800 is they included a quick release plate for uh, easy removal of your DSLRs. When balancing for the camera while doing the roll bar, which is the back, uh, back rail section, you don't have to be 100% because you can make minor adjustments on the quick release plate by moving it left or right. Now, when we first got the 7800, it did come with the gimbal, obviously, and then it came with a couple things in the box to help you with your installation came with a couple zip ties which can be used for the monitor cables. Along with that it did come with a similar screw that would go into the bottom of your DSLR. Sorry. And it would came with a couple replacement screws in case during, um, during use or during installation any of these screws that are on the rig get stripped. Along with that there are a couple replacement screws for the upper portion of the bars and a couple uh, replacement uh, nuts and bolts along with it. Along with the replacement screws, they also did give you a set of Allen keys, which we don't recommend. Um, when, install when installing it, we would suggest getting a multi-piece screwdriver set, which has all the different types of uh, Allen keys, just because with a uh, screwdriver, you do get more torque while you're actually installing the screws. Um, while they do have the quick release plate installed in here, they also have another uh, hot shoe plate that you can put on the uh, bottom part of the gimbal if you so choose. And they also included a 11.1 uh, 11 volt 22 milli hour battery which would then be attached to the top section of the gimbal.